Taylor Morris. A news conference by the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office in Portage just wrapped up within the last hour. Taylor was there for that. She's got more on what was said, and she's live tonight with the latest there. Taylor? Yeah, Brian, uh, that press conference wrapped up about 20 minutes ago. We're at the Department of Public Safety in Portage, and the Red Cross was here. The mayor of Portage was here. The de uh, Department of Public Safety was here, and Consumers Energy was here as well. And the biggest takeaway, I would say, is just the positive response during last night's storms from everyone in involved, all hands on deck, from the people, the first responders, the community members, the fire departments that came from other areas in southwest Michigan. And according to the mayor, they are still addressing the damages today. There were no fatalities and eight people went to the hospital with minor injuries. Over 100 families have been displaced. And as a reminder, the mayor says people can call 211 to seek immediate housing. They are asking people who live in the area and have damage to separate building materials to help with the cleanup process. They have also received a lot of questions about people who want to volunteer and help out with the cleanup and uh, with just helping people who are experiencing the damages. And if you want to help, you can visit the Portage Department of Public Safety Facebook page for an update that should be posted any moment now. Kalamazoo Foundation also set up a fund to help people who are experiencing damage. And according to Sheriff Fuller, the one of the things that he mentioned was the tragic tornado that happened 44 years ago this week, week which took five lives. He says last night's tornado was a lot worse, but there were no fatigues fatalities, which they are very proud of. He also says after talking to the community, people say they felt prepared last night with the sirens, the news stations and the overall response. One of the things I saw on my way here, uh, there's a lot of traffic congestion and I understand why, because there's a lot of roads to close. But one of the vehicles I saw on my way here, I was sitting behind a vehicle and their license plate was rise above. I thought, how perfect was that on a day like today? Now, like I said, Consumers Energy was also on site today, and they shared that 160 line crews, 70 gas crews are also on scene working around the clock to restore power. They also say their goal is to have most people back on by midnight tonight, and if not tonight, tomorrow, for especially the people that were hit the worst. And as a reminder, if you do come across any downed power lines, they want to make sure people are aware that to call consumers or their local fire department in Portage. Taylor Morris, News 8.